Welcome to Zeus Analytics. After logging in, you will be brought to the dashboard. On the dashboard, you will see similar art. This is the last five jobs you ran, so it makes viewing them again quick. Where you see demo, you will actually see your company's name. And these are jobs that have been run within your company, making sharing information simple. Folders allows you to upload a list of patents and to run jobs on just the first claim very quickly. Search patents allows you to enter the country code and the patent number to find information on an individual patent. We're going to begin by clicking New Rating Request. To begin, it asks you, is this an application number? If this is a U.S. application number, you'll want to click this box. Otherwise, under Target Patent, select your country and enter your patent number. Next, under Options, it asks if you want to include references, only include references, target references, which actually allows you to enter a specific reference number, or do not include references. For this job, I'm just going to leave it at the default of do not include references. Next, include non-patent literature, include only non-patent literature, or claims only analysis. Claims only analysis is used for freedom to operate. So I'm going to use do not include non-patent literature. If you do want to see results with non-patent literature, we suggest selecting include only non-patent literature. Next, add a note. And this is just for your benefit. I'm going to add a note so you can see how it's displayed. and then click proceed. Now this screen allows you to select which claims you would like to have run. You can select all and it will select all of the claims. Or you can select independent and it will select just the independent claims. I'm going to stick with just claim one for this job. And you can click it here or you can click over here to select your claim and then click Edit Claims. Next, this is the editing screen. Click here if you would like to add text. So if you have a list of synonyms or other words that you would like the system to look at, this is a great way to add those words. Next, if you have a word that you want to give a lot of weight to, that it's just a very important word, I'm going to select Transmit. And then I'm going to click on the anchor, and it's going to ask me, is this an important term, a must-have term, or ignore term? And I'm going to say it's a must-have term. And then I can select, is it the entire patent? the claim or just the claim step. And I'll select entire patent and click set. Next we're going to click on request synonyms. The request synonyms looks at all the words within the claim step and then highlights the words that have synonyms. I'm going to click on the word mobile. And here a list of selected synonyms will appear, but you can also add your own synonym. Next, you can create claim steps. By clicking on the plus sign, a new claim step appears. Here you can either add text or cut and paste text. And then the final feature is selecting the date. You can either select the prior art or future art or enter your own date range here. Then click submit. 
Now you are on the Similar Arts page. The job that you just submitted is listed first. It's currently still processing. So here we have the request ID. This number is used if you ever have any issues and you need to contact support. This number is what you want to give the support team. Next, you see these ones and here's a two. That means revisions have happened. And you can select to see the first version or the second version. You can also click on the change log and this will show what changes were made. Here we had the word fiber was selected and given a weight. Next is the A&T score. The A&T score is the average score of the top 200 results. The higher the score, the more similar art that was found. Next under description is your target patent number. And then the target info is the title of that patent. Here's where we added a note. And then we have the date that the job was created. Next you have the status. To refresh the status, just click on refresh up here. Then you have the pencil, which is editing. And this will bring you back to the editing screen that we were just on. Next to share. And then this allows you to move the job into the archives folder. While this job is processing, we'll look at the patent that I ran earlier. It is finished processing. So I'm going to just click on the finished. Here the screen displays the target patent, the title, and the abstract. If I had selected multiple claims, they would be listed here. And you can click on whichever claim you would like to look at. I'll click on claim one. Here the screen displays the reference patents. The stars are a visual representation of the overall score. The overall score is 75% based on the text of the claim in comparison to the text of the reference patent. And 25% of the score is based on the ASCR. A stands for abstract similarity. This score is based on similarity of the subject patent's abstract in comparison to the reference patent's abstract. The S is for sibling. This score is based on if the reference patent has the same siblings as the subject patent. C is for classification. This score is based on the similarity in classification of the subject patent and the reference patent. And R is for random walk. This score is based on a random walk of the subject patent. Next you have an area where you can add a comment and this is just for your own benefit. The thumbs up, thumbs down allows you to rate how good of a match this is. To begin, we're going to select a reference patent by clicking on it and as you can see below the reference patents displays the title of the reference patent selected and just brief information about that patent. Over here we display green check marks if, it, if the claim step has been considered and matched, a yellow dash if the claim step has not been considered, and a red X if the claim step has been considered and not matched. Next we're going to click on claim step 2 and snippets from the selected reference patent are now displayed below claim step 2. We will display up to five snippets. This score 
is given on how close the text from this snippet is to the claim step. Add to chart allows you to add this snippet to the claims chart that can be later downloaded. And again, you're allowed to leave yourself a comment and give this snippet a rating. Next, we'll go to the limitations tab. The reference tab displayed results based on the entire claim. The limitations tab displays results based on each individual claim step. So we're going to select claim step two. Now the system displays reference patents that are closely matched to claim step two only. I'm going to select the reference patent. As you can see, snippets are displayed below the claim step just like in the references tab. Next we're going to go to the claims chart tab. The claims chart tab displays your claims and then any selected snippet. There could be multiple snippets for each claim and this can be downloaded into a Word document. Now we are going to go back to the dashboard. From here we're going to create a folder. So click Upload File, enter a folder name, and then choose a CSV file, and then click Proceed. While this folder is processing, we'll just look at an older folder. Here we display the group of patents that were uploaded. By clicking here, you can select all the patents on the page and then click run PGR. From here you're asked do you want to run just claim one or run all independent claims. Again you can select to include non-patent literature, include only non-patent literature, or claims only analysis. And then you can select the prior art date, future art, or all art. Click proceed. Now similar art jobs are being run for all the patents on this page. For further information on how to use Zeus Analytics, just come up here and click on your name, help, and you're able to download the manual.